Parker Hills just three points adrift following their 3-1 win over Crusaders. Earlier today, we caught up with the Ports veteran keeper, Mickey Keenan. John Fleck reports. Mickey Keenan works as a youth development officer with the Southern Education and Library Board. A bit ironic, maybe, considering at 45, he's the oldest player in the Irish League. But he's still enjoying his football, especially that the Ports are on a real roll, typified by Saturday's result. It's a good run for us, yeah. We've, we've clawed back uh, the, the lead that Glen Torn had, and that's important. They have seemed to have gone off the boil a wee bit, I think, since he luck left. Actually, so it's good for us to see that happening. Though. I think at the moment it's, it, it looks like the three of us, Glen Torn, Porter Down and Linfield, uh, Coleraine have slipped back a wee bit. I think they'll do damage to the teams, but I don't think they could really catch uh, enough to win it. While the Glens have slipped up in recent weeks, their big two rivals have struck a rich vein of form though the Blues had to come from behind to beat the Crews on Saturday, two of the goals coming from the informed Chris Morgan. Don't bet against them retaining their title, that's the message from Keenan. My money would be on Linfield, I think, at the moment. I think they're the most dangerous one. They were written off weeks ago, but they've really struck form recently. Yeah, they've written off in the press and things like that, but they've had the best run. I think, I'm think not too sure of the stats, but they've hardly dropped any points in this last few matches. David Jeffries played it very cool, kept it quiet and let that happen. But they're back in the frame there and um, they're looking good. They're scoring goals, Morgan's scoring, and uh, they've got three or four players there who'll always get them goals. And Linfield, you know, the tradition and the spirit that they have, they're going to fight right to the end. In the match of the day, leaders Glen Torren lost out to second place Portadown. Gary Hamilton's stunning left footer, the only goal of the game. Cole Rain trying to stay in touch. Linfield are gaining ground, and Glen Torren lead on goal difference. Portadown do a game in hand. Jackie Fullerton, BBC Newsline.